guys, welcome back to another video in this channel. I've been really wanting to make another video about English teachers in Japan but couldn't find the time. So finally, here I'm now making this another video and this time I'm gonna be answering. I actually compiled some commonly asked questions from you guys who want to become an English teacher here in Japan. I may not be able to answer a lot of questions but here are seven frequently asked questions. So let's start with question number one. Do I need to be fluent in Japanese for me to be an ALT in Japan? The answer is no, definitely not. So you don't have to know a lot of Japanese words. You don't have to be fluent in Japanese as long as you can just say um, basic greetings or basic Japanese expressions, then you're good to go, you're fine. On my first year, I really could not say like any Japanese sentence, all I knew was Arigatou gozaimasu and um, Ohai gozaimasu, just very basic, but I was able to make it through that year and little by little I was able to learn Japanese. But it's still a good thing if you can learn Japanese along the way because you'll be needing it, especially if you want to take the JLPT, which is the Japanese language proficiency test. If you can pass it, if you don't want to be an English teacher anymore, you want to apply for another job here in Japan, then you can apply. Second question, what are the resources available at school for ALTs? Well, there are lots of stuff available at the teacher's room. For starters, we have, I think, a laptop for ALTs. As for my school, I have like a laptop for me. But for some schools, they don't have laptops for ALTs, so it depends on the school. There are printers, like different kinds of printers that you can use. You can just ask the teacher if you don't know how to use it and then they'll help you. And then later on, you can just do it on your own. When I came to Japan, my company told me that I always have, or ALTs should always ask permission from the principal or from other teachers to use a computer at the teacher's room or the printers. But I learned later on that actually you can just use them. You don't have to ask permission as long as you're using it for work because sometimes the principal or the teachers are very busy. Actually, not sometimes, but most of the time they're very busy. So if you know how to do it, then just go ahead and print, use the computer. There are also colored papers, um, pencils, pens. You can actually ask the secretary if you don't have pens, then they can give you pens. As long as you're using that for school. What else? There's also a laminator and laminating film. You just ask the teachers and then gonna help you with that. Um, if you're not directly hired by the Board of Education, that means you're a dispatch ALT, sometimes you feel like you're not actually part of the school but if you have like good relationship with your teachers then you can ask them and they can help you with any resources available. Next question, is there a salary increase every year? Sad to say, no, there isn't any salary increase every year or every after two years or even once in a while? No, the answer is no. Even if you're here, working here for 10 years, it's still gonna be the same salary. As for Interact, if you've been working with Interact for like five years or three years, even three years, and you think that you work really hard and that you deserve a salary increase, then I think you can ask your branch manager or your boss and then you tell, you explain why you deserve that. Because I have a friend who worked for Interact before and he, yeah, he did that. He asked the boss that he deserved a pay increase and so he got that. But it was only like 3,000 yen per month. What's the hiring pay chances for teachers with excellent qualifications? Um, unfortunately for dispatch companies and even for board of education ALTs but I don't I don't know with other board of education but in, in my board of education even if you have like really really nice um, education background with really excellent qualifications it's still the same pay because you know Japan is the country that really emphasizes on harmony and that's why they don't they want equality 
towards teachers and so they don't want some teachers to be better paid than the others so even if you are more qualified than the other teachers you still get the same pay as the other teachers so i'm so sorry for that question number four i'm from the philippines i'm good at english but i'm not a teacher can i still become an alt in japan if you're from the philippines and if you're in the philippines and you want to be an english teacher here in japan as an alt the answer is no, sadly, because the agency partnered with Interact in the Philippines, which is Chesham, is so strict about that requirement. And they require applicants to be teachers or a, I think, a similar course that lets them teach. So unfortunately, you can't apply if you're still in the Philippines. But if you're in Japan, just like my husband, he is actually an engineer. He had a dependence visa before, but because he's already in Japan, since he has a bachelor's degree, which is a requirement by the Bureau of Immigration in Japan to get an instructor's visa, he was able to convert his visa from dependent to instructor's visa. And that's why he's able to work as an AOT. In short, if you're in the Philippines and if you're not a teacher, you can't come to Japan as an ALT. But if you're already in Japan, even if you're not a teacher, you can become a teacher. Next question. Is it okay to be an ALT and work at the Neikaiwa at the same time? The answer is yes. I'm actually an ALT and I also work part-time at an Neikaiwa, though it's really very tiring. I tell you, it's not, it's not that easy, but it's possible. I work until 4.45 in the afternoon and then I go straight and I teach there all the way till 8 o'clock. But of course, you need to get a permission from your main company. And please, please, please make it a legal work by getting a permission from the Bureau of Immigration. If you want to work part-time at an Eikaiwa, you have to go first to the immigration office near you. Tell them that you're going to work part-time at this school. So they're going to give you this permission to engage in extra activities, something like that. So it's a stamp on your passport and it's free so you don't have to pay for that. It actually takes like 30 minutes so it's worth visiting the immigration office and make your part-time legal. Next, can I apply directly to the BOE or Board of Education while outside Japan? Um, as far as I know, the answer is no. I'm so sorry. It's because Board of Educations require applicants to already possess an instructor's visa and so that they won't have any problems with the ALTs because the reason why they are hiring ALTs directly is that they want to save money and they want to save time. And if you are like sort of a burden, then they won't hire you even with an excellent qualification but if you're already in Japan even if you're not really a teacher even if you did not graduate as a teacher you can work or apply directly to the BOE as long as you have a valid visa that allows you to teach or allows you to work so it doesn't necessarily have to be an instructor's visa it can also be a permanent visa or a spouse visa as long as you can work like legally work. Now we're down to our last question. When is the best time to apply for an ALT position? Um, right now, I don't know when is really the best time because I heard from, from someone in the Philippines that right now, if you will apply at Chesham, the ALTs they're hiring are for 2020 like a year from now but if you're patient enough to wait for that then yeah you can apply right now but if not then maybe you can like look for another option if you really want to be a teacher here in Japan. English teachers in Japan are not only ALTs or assistant language teachers but you can also be a teacher at a private school at an international school or a teacher at an Eikaiwa so you have other options because right now the hiring is for 2020 but this is what i'm gonna tell you alts right now are really in demand come 2020 there's gonna be a big change in the curriculum there's gonna be a big change in the education system a lot of english teachers will be hired and needed by schools and board of education so the best time to apply is now and even if it will take a long time before you can fly to japan just be patient because there's going to be 
a perfect time for you. While you're waiting, spend time with your family and savor the moment that you're still in the Philippines because time flies. So good luck to you and I hope that I'm able to answer some of your questions. Um, I may make another video to answer other questions if there still are. So if you have some more questions, then please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again in the next.